as you've seen already, this is a heater that's been created by Heiger. It's a product that I'm excited to review. This is the reason why I chose it. Heiger got in contact with me and asked me to review a product as they've been a fan of the channel and the videos. And again, this wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for you guys. So I very much appreciate this. Um, so basically it's a heater. Um, it gives a reading of what temperature the tank is and you can also change the settings and the heat that it provides for the tank externally which excites me a lot because with aquarium heaters and um, the basic ones you have to stick your hand in you have to adjust the temperature with your hand and sometimes you don't want to be putting your hands in the tank especially with cross contamination and stuff like that it's really handy for that and um, again with it given the reading of what temperature the tank is I'm really excited to see how this works. Let's see where this goes and uh, I'll give you an honest review. As you open up the box on the top, you get a user manual that gives you all the instructions of how to use the product. Now, it also shows the other products or heaters provided by Heiger um, and it gives a little breakdown on how it works. It basically says that you need to place the heat in fully submerged, which I think uh, most hobbyists know that if you ever drain the water down, you've got chance of the heat exploding. So again, same case here, you don't want to have the heater sticking out of the water. You want to make sure it's fully submerged. It also tells you that you want to make sure that there's enough water flow and circulation. So you want to make sure that the heater is in front of the water flow. So it's you're pushing the heat around the tank. So that is very vital as well. Um, and it also tells you to make sure that you're not burying the heater. So make sure that you're not submersing it in your substrate. Make sure that it's fully on show and not submerged as well. Let's uh, continue on with um, this unboxing. A little bit of foam there or padding to make sure that the product is nice and snug. And as you can see here, covered by styrofoam uh, to make sure that it is nice and safe and not damaged during shipping. Let's uh, take this out real quick. We've got another block there and uh, making sure it's nice and secure. And here we have the heater. It comes in a little bag that protects it again. And here it is. You've got two dual rods there as well and um, two suction cups that uh, suck onto the glass and make sure that it is nice and secure and placed well in the tank. Some heaters, um, they tend to not come with suction cups. If they do, they're not so great, but um, checking these out right here, they seem to be uh, of a good quality and they'll have no problem sticking to the glass. As you take the full thing out and we move this box to the side, which again, nice presentation, nice font, it gives the one year warranty mark as well on the box to let you know that if there is any problems with the heater it is under guarantee for one year nice to see that there's a uk plug there as well and on the wire connected to the plug it tells you a cycle here where you're able to adjust the temperature of the heater so you can cycle it to the lowest of 20 degrees all the way up to <clears throat> 34 celsius that's really cool and that is what I was talking about earlier and the fact that you are able to adjust the temperature of the heater externally which in my opinion is absolutely amazing. Let's uh, get this submerged and um, see how it works underwater. As you can see here I'm just about to place the heater and submerge it underwater as the instruction manual says. Um, what's really cool about the he this heater as well is the fact that it has a thick wire which is nice to know because of course you don't want cables being exposed to water and it is nice and secure as well so as you can see it is attached to the glass there uh, we are now going to place this spray bar right here i'm just going to tuck it behind the wire there what it's going to be doing is it's going to be pushing that heat around the tank as the instruction manual suggests we're now going to plug in the heater make sure that the plug isn't wet and that is now plugged in. As you can see here, the heater is given a reading of 27, but if we want to adjust that, we just need to press this and um, it gives a live reading of what the temperature can be. It can go all the way up to 34 as stated previously, but we want to set it to around 25 Celsius as that is the sweet spot for around 78 Fahrenheit, which is uh, usually the best reading for a tropical community tank 
At the moment, the tank is currently at 27 Celsius, but we've preset the heater to 25, so it will eventually adjust itself to the correct temperature. And if it gets any higher, the heater will tell me that it will either be rising with this counter or lowering. Sitting further away, you can see that the temperature on the heater has now dropped to 26 Celsius and it's given an accurate reading as I've preset the heater to be at 25 Celsius. The water temperature is slowly going down and adjusting to the temperature that I've set it to. I really enjoy that feature as I don't need to put a thermometer in the tank to see what the reading is of the temperature as the heater does that job for me already. Now I'm going to be giving you my honest review on the product. I think it's a great product with the price range of 30 pound in the uk on amazon it's a great value for money product it provides live feedback on the temperature of your fish tank it's adjustable for when you want to change the temperature too so you're able to adjust that without having to put your hands in the tank which most aquatic heaters with you providing that you have to put your hand in the tank and adjust the temperature with your hand instead it's simple and easy to just click the button externally which i really appreciate and um, with the live feedback of what the temperature reading is of the tank as well i really appreciate that and value that as you don't need to have a thermometer in the tank anymore which usually when setting up tank heaters i have to have a thermometer to give me the live reading as most aquatic heaters don't give a accurate reading on what the temperature is in your fish tanks i really appreciate that and it's been a great product to review by Higer. Um, I really appreciate them sending this product out. I will be using this heater in my future setup that will be coming out very soon in probably a couple of weeks times. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and check that out. Again, thank you so much to Higer and Nicole for sending this product out to me and I'll see you later. Um, peace.